Hello everyone, today I have a really good news for all the BMNG players that use modes. We have the full time four wheel drive mode upgrade by the author, and he added the torsion and a different feature to the game. He also, he also added the, a turnable cork slave diff, which is really good. And I'm not sure if he actually <laughs> look at my videos that he and then he developed the idea of a torsion diff because I actually do that first, but it doesn't really matter for me because it's just for fun. And let's check out. Also, his mode has a slightly different turnings from me. He put the the like the how much the wheel the dump his slave also is called the power dog to point four two and I put it to point three six. He also put the preload of the diff slightly different. He put it to the ten and I put it to seven and I will check out if there is any difference when it came to off road ability. And Let's go. So this car, so let's first test the my modes out here. Actually, it's not even my mode, I just added the multi mode four wheel drive system into a torsion diff. I doesn't even change the other name or anything because it, again it, it just for fun the game. Usually, I will turn off the ESC in the game to prevent it from from to from using the brake to dump his slip the front wheels because then there is no purpose to test that. So I will usually put it into ESC off because then it will highly it will only depends on the, your set diff. It doesn't depends on your electronic locking system. Yeah, so 
just like you see in the reverse, the car isn't isn't like to isn't lock up the diff, but in the acceleration it it do it does the job decent with front view, but on the rear view it it like still allows tons of slippage, and I think it is pretty normal since if if you consider the real depth to some diff, like if once it have very little traction then the multiplier numbers will be lower because you can check out how that will work it isn't a locker but it is like more like a torque multiplier that multiplied how much torque on the one side to another side for example if this side losing if the if the back side losing traction then like if there's only have five then it will multiply it to to the to a certain number to the front view that almost cars will gain more tractions. But in the game I, I put it to slightly rear wheel bias that it is 0.6 to the rear and also in the rear it has very less the most weight will climb is on the rear so just will totally explain why the rear doesn't do good than the front wheel and I will check out his mode to see if there will be exactly the same situations or different because his mode doesn't have a 0.6 torque split, he put it to 50 50. So, and I will check out if there is any difference when it comes to off road abilities. I mean, actually, in the real world, in the real world off road, you will definitely want to lock the center diff instead of leave it open but uh, we will just check that out to see if there's actually any difference Yeah, so I think this mode is doing better on the rear, but doing worse on the front, and this is quite interesting, but I think it could be explained by the torx, by the default torx split. Yeah, because he is 50-50 and M is 26, so, and the M is 60 to the rear, 40 to the front, so I think it has something to do with that, 
But anyways, this is a really good mode, and I encourage you.